working on 62? Yes. All right, little update. I haven't showed none of this because worked on the Ford truck. It's gone. Now we're focused on this. Well, Dad's been focused on it. I've uh, jumped in on the pro project. He has painted all the front end stuff underneath the hood and everything. So uh, we are mounting all the AC stuff. We've had to close up the hole in the actuator. We all, we bought brackets to mount the compressor, but they end up being over here, which it wouldn't work. So we had to reorder them, send the old ones back. So we're waiting on that. Now we're in the process of uh, mounting the front end. So we start running our hoses, dragging our AC condenser mounted, dryer. We have the inside unit mounted. Now uh, it's a little rough looking cause come in, you work, you go. That's what we had to do. Um, let's see, we have our AC line holes here. You can't see them, but they both have grommets. And then our heater hose holes are gonna go down through here. And then we have our wiring run across because we're gonna end up running everything over here in the center of the dash. We're gonna modify the dash to hold the switches. And then the relays will be here. So if you need to work on anything, you pull the console out, you should be able to get to everything. You know, and the console is really not that bad to pull out of this car. That's what we're working on. So, <clears throat> there's some more of the front end pieces. And I'll show you the dash and what we're... Our game plan is, is instead of having, instead of having this gaudy piece in the dash, up under the dash, kind of like hanging there, we're going to, perfect little area right here, we're gonna put the switches. That way, we somewhat, that's the only thing gonna be messed with on the dash and then the vents will be hanging underneath. So, then we gotta get all the lights working. We're gonna try to get everything working here on the buck before we uh, start putting it in the car, that way we can know all the lights will work. So. Anyway, it's like I said, it's a little dirty, a little at a time. We're getting there. I'll keep us up to date on the process. Uh, the defrost vents are small hoses on the unit, large hoses on the car itself, and they're steel, which is nice because they're they're stationary. They're not gonna go nowhere. So we had we had to double up a big and a small and clamp them together and duct tape them. And that one over there was able to run off the duct and go all the way down, but there's still the small hose inside of it. It's kind of an odd way to do it, but we didn't have no other choice. The rest of it would be cut and dry, straightforward. All right.